Welcome to the Airgun Show. This week I'm going to be taking a look at the Airgun Technology Vulcan 2 Tactic Semi Ballpup from Pelpax. But before that, we're joining Andy Watkins for some farmyard pest control. We're here today and we've popped over to a local farm and it's a dairy farm so there's a lot of cattle around, a lot of cattle feed and what that does is attract a lot of unwanted visitors. Uh, these sheds are usually full of white feral pigeons and feral doves um, and they just lie in the rafters and defecate all in the animal feed and that really is a, a bit of a health risk to the cattle. So. The farmers here, they've, they've tried catching the birds, they've tried deterring them, but nothing's worked, so they've had to call in us. Um, this is actually Tom, the uh, current cameraman's auntie's farm, and we're just here to, to clear a few out, really. We've been here before and had a good day, so hopefully we'll be able to replicate that. Uh, we're going to be taking mainly headshots uh, wherever possible, and also using the girders as a solid backstop. These roofs are, are quite thin, so a pellet would just go straight through there. And we don't want to be causing more damage than the pigeons. Um, also, again, we'll obviously be tidying up after ourselves. We don't want to be leaving a mess and creating more of a disease risk than the pigeons are. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. There's a, a few around. We'll go to the shed next door where we saw a, a lot on the way in. And hopefully knock a few down. Today the tool that we'll be using is the Wolfer LGU. This is 177, shooting uh, air on fields today. Uh, lovely gun, just above butt pad, but it was firing out of the box for me. On top we've got the PAO 1056 uh, HFT scope. And, and you know this, this is a nice little combo, very accurate, does a brilliant job. Nice and smooth to shoot, pigeons just coming here so I'll uh, See if we can knock him down. Good start there with the LGU. Zeroed at 25 yards, so it was a bang on shot. So like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by that feral. Um, PAO scope, Walther LGU, sports match mounts. These are the 30mm highs. Uh, and it's a cracking combo. So, there. Let's get to it. I want to knock down some pigeons. I just had bird number two. It's great shooting on farms because all these solid structures to rest on. I just put my knee in the cattle feed, rested on the uh, on the bar there, and took that pigeon. And he's dropped straight down. In. But they're constantly flying around, and I think we're going to have a pretty successful day already. Well, the pigeons just come in almost directly above us. So again, I'm just going to use that bar as a really nice rest. Well that bird was headshot and it dropped straight down into the, the water trough. Well just round this wall to the right there's a couple of doves sat on uh, one of the pillars. 
So I'm going to head round, I'm going to sneak underneath this bit of a gate and then use the, uh, the, the, the bars on the other side as a rest and hopefully drop it. Good shot there. The other one is circling around, so I'm hoping that one's going to land as well. So I'm just going to recock the rifle in case that happens. A really nice couple of collared doves there. Again, they cause the same problem as the pigeons, just defecating in the animal feed. So another, another two down. Um, shot the first one. Saw the other one was looking back at where its mate was, so I anticipated it would land again. Sure enough, it did. Recock the rifle and dropped that one as well. Uh, I took that one with a heart shot. Doves generally not the strongest of birds. Um, body sh body shots, heart shots tend to do quite a, a good humane job, so really pleased for that one. There's a wood pigeon here, quite a young one and it's pretty close range. There's a really hefty wind coming left to right, so I might have to take that into consideration. Woody drops straight down. One of the problems we're having is the dust. It's uh, blowing up everywhere. Last time we came, it was a perfectly calm, still day. Today's a, a bit of a different story. It's just dust on everything. <laughs> So with all these birds, what we're trying to do is, is head shoot them really, um, wherever possible. If the head isn't necessarily visible or it's up against the ceiling and not against a, a solid girder, we go for a neck shot. These birds, we have tried body shooting them before, but unlike collared doves, there's a little bit more meat to them and it just doesn't seem to drop them humanely. So we're sticking with head shots. So far it's worked out pretty well. The advantage of that is if we do miss, uh, the bird gets away unharmed, uh, not wounded, so it's a win-win situation really.
And as you can see behind me, we've got the milking parlour. And this is a place that needs to be kept nice and clean and sterile. And with all these pigeons sitting up in the rafters, defecating all over the floor, it's just not something that, not something that can be kept sterile. So we've had a lot of... So as I was saying before the pigeon flew in, it's a tough job to keep it all clean when there's pigeons pooing all over the equipment uh, and that's again one of the reasons why we're here to, to, to take care of them. Well, we've had a great session today. We've got uh, I think 17 on the ground, plenty of white birds, we've got a bonus wood pigeon and a couple of doves. The, the Walther LGU today has performed brilliantly as, as well as any PCP could have done really. Super accurate, dropped all these pigeons with ease. Um, like I say, most of them were headshot wherever possible. Uh, and yeah, that's 17 less to be defecating in the cattle feed. Andy Watkins giving the farmyard pest control a welcome boost there. And now it's the air gun show news. This is the air gun show news. You can vote now in the Great British Shooting Awards. Shortlists were revealed today in these new awards which aim to celebrate the British shooting industry. And the shooting public gets to vote in most of the categories, including air gun of the year. To see who's made the shortlist and cast your vote, head online to greatbritishshootingawards.co.uk. There's been a lot of talk about shooting on social media after the storm that erupted over goat hunting images online. And Basque has given some advice about how you can avoid being the next tabloid headline. They say you should think carefully before posting pictures online, especially if they feature dead animals. Remember, any photo can be taken out of context even if you went to some lengths to explain it. Also, be aware that most smartphones automatically geotag photographs, which could lead to you broadcasting the location of a shoot accidentally. The British Shooting School's Pistol Championships kicked off in style with the South West Championships last month. The home team was dominant, winning the team titles in all three categories. In the individuals, Persephone Preston was the junior champion, Emily Pascoe took the intermediate prize, and Emma Liverston was the senior champ. Paralympian Lorraine Lambert was also present to mix with the athletes and give them some perspective on what it's like to be an elite shooter. And finally, the new issue of Egg and Shooter magazine is an autumn hunting special. The Egg and Show's Matt Manning explains when to use roving and ambush tactics and how to exploit natural food sources to bring the pests to you. There's also a test of the Diana 340 Entech Luxus gas ram and a roundup of four top hide choices. Plus, one lucky reader can win a Ridgeline gun bag worth £249. Issue 115 is out now in Good News Agents. That was the Air Gun Show News. We've got the air gun technology Vulcan 2 from Pelpax on test this week. Most people will probably know the Vulcan as a very compact bullpup. This is the tactic version which is better described as a semi bullpup. It's a very serious piece of kit and it comes with the serious price tag of £1,249.99. The tactic variant is still pretty compact. It measures 89 centimetres from end to end and, unscoped, tips the scales at a very manageable 3.2 kilos. Balance is very good and it's an extremely pointable air gun that feels great in the shoulder. The walnut stock looks very nice. It's got a fairly high gloss polish finish and a thumbhole configuration with an almost vertical pistol grip. 
The fore end is nice and long, so there's plenty of room for your leading hand, and it even incorporates an integral accessory rail. Length of pull is adjustable by adding or removing the plastic washers between the butt of the stock and the recoil pad. That recoil pad and the cheek piece are both height adjustable. That enables you to really tweak fit to ensure good alignment between eye and scope. There's no checkering or stippling on the stock, but I haven't noticed that it feels particularly slippery as a result. The Vulcan has a Picatinny type scope rail. It's a configuration that seems to be growing in popularity in the UK, and you'll need to bear it in mind when choosing scope mounts. That rail is nice and long, so it gives you plenty of options when it comes to scope mounting. The barrel is a cold hammer forged one from CZ, so it should certainly deliver in the accuracy stakes. It's housed inside a very chunky shroud, which looks good and also does a brilliant job of hushing down the muzzle report. Remove the end cap from the shroud and it's even threaded to accept an additional silencer. Not that I can really see that being necessary. Filling with air is very easy. Simply turn the collar at the front of the cylinder to expose the inlet and push in the supplied quick fill probe. A full 250 bar fill gives about 200 shots at around 11.3 foot pounds. Being regulated, it's extremely consistent and there's a pressure gauge at the front of the cylinder so you can keep an eye on your air reserves. The 177 calibre Vulcan 2 runs a 15 shot magazine and it comes supplied with two. Easy to load, it slots in from the left and feels incredibly slick in operation. It indexes very, very smoothly and I could barely notice any resistance at all when probing pellets into the breech. The cocking and loading mechanism is driven by a very positive side lever action. It feels great in operation and makes for very fast follow-up shots. The lever on the review gun is actually positioned on the left, but it is reversible. I wouldn't attempt to do it in the field, but it is a simple job that anyone should be able to do for themselves. I am very picky about triggers, and the one on the AT Vulcan is excellent. Quite possibly the best trigger unit that I've ever encountered on a bullpup or semi-bullpup air gun. I really like the flat face and gentle curve of the blade, and the release is extremely predictable. The first stage is fairly short and light, and the second stage breaks very crisply. The safety catch is too close to the trigger blade for my liking, but I suppose that does mean that you can use it without having to adjust your hold. You push it back into the safe position, and then push it forwards when you're ready to shoot. Right, well that's a quick overview of the AT Vulcan 2 Tactics main features. Let's do some shooting with it. Well, how about that for a five shot group at 30 metres? There's barely any breeze today, so I didn't have to worry about that, and it actually looked like the last couple of shots passed through exactly the same hole. Um, I could certainly do with the lever being on the opposite side, but it still felt nice and smooth to operate, and that trigger mechanism really is fantastic. I can see a lot of shooters wanting to use this air gun for hunting, and it certainly has the accuracy credentials to deliver in that department. I've been really impressed with the AT Vulcan 2 tactic. It's accurate and quiet, and its compact proportions mean that it handles really well. I can see it lending itself brilliantly to shooting in the confines of a hide, and I also think the high capacity of that 15-shot magazine is a really nice touch. If you're in the market for a compact PCP and your budget can stretch to this one, it should certainly be on your list. 
Look out for the new and improved Airgun Shooter magazine, packed full of technique, gear and insight from some of the best shooters in the industry. Brand new look and free video content. Pick up your copy today in stores or online. That's all for this week, but we'll be back again in a fortnight. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you aren't already a member of the BASC, have a look at their website and check out the benefits you could be taking advantage of through Airgun Membership.